highly efficient aircraft. The Vision has materialized into a 3.6 kilo plane with a wingspan of 1.5 meters. The Eagle One is composed of two wing bodies with opposing sweeps connected in the middle and sides by vertical fins. This configuration can reduce drag of up to 20% compared to conventional fixed wing planes, as vertices generated at the tip of the wings can be minimized. Pitch and roll stability were evaluated in XLFR5 using the VLMI2 method. Mixed 3D panels, models and a geometry was developed with an inherently stable behavior. The aircraft has a cruise speed of 22 meters per second loaded and 16 meters per second unloaded. The plane is built from a carbon fiber shell with a polyurethane foam core, which creates a lightweight plane without compromising the physical properties required. The plane is built up by different modules for each transportation and repairs if needed. In case of crashing, weak points were implemented in order to protect the carbon structure. The plane is designed to carry 1.6 kilos of payload, two water balls and an aid kit. This payload is released using linear actuators to control the release of the package and operate the cargo doors. These actuators were selected for their strength and operating speed to ensure safe transport during flight and accurate delivery. For operating the control surfaces, metal geared servos are mounted to the wing. All wires are routed inside the body for minimum drag. A launch system is used for fast and controlled takeoff. The flight controller for our aircraft is a Pixhawk 2Q running the PX4 firmware. The flight controller handles the autonomous flight through missions and locks all data related to the performance of the aircraft. While in the air, the flight controller and mission can be updated by the telemetry link from the ground station using Q ground control. For image processing, the onboard Raspberry Pi microcomputer is used together with a Raspberry Pi camera module. The image stabilization system uses a servo to compensate for the roll angle of the aircraft. To communicate with the plane, we use two different radio frequencies. For manual control of the plane, we use a Spectrum branded 2.4 GHz system compliant with the IR 2030-71. Because of the carbon fiber construction, we use multiple receivers to ensure reliable uplink from all directions. The telemetry link between the plane and the ground station uses CE certified 433 MHz telemetry modules, compliant with the IR 2030-110. Before any flights were performed, various structural tests were made. These include a virtual simulation of the flight stability, a wind tunnel test, a wing loading test to check the strength of the plane, a thrust test, and a speed measuring test. After every flight test, the flight log is reviewed and analyzed. To minimize the risk of injuries from launching the plane, a close-up safety pin was built into the plane. While attached, it prevents the motor from spinning. Next, we developed a safety procedure with a checklist to carefully be followed before each launch. Among the biggest risks we find a bad landing, risk level 4, rain damaging, risk level 4, LiPo battery malfunction, risk level 3, takeoff disturbance, risk level 3, complete power loss, risk level 2, lost control or flying beyond vision light of sight, risk level 2, lost control or hurting living creatures slash damaging properties, risk level 2, loose internal connections, risk level 2, loose cargo or mass inside unmanned aircraft, Sudden unbalance in the unmanned aircraft, risk level 2. Mechanical failure, risk level 1. 